Hi, good morning, everyone. A seven-year-old suffering from seizures requires the use of a service dog who can alert others of an oncoming seizure before it even starts. But now this child is stuck at home because his elementary school refuses to help care for his dog. So what are they going to do? Austin joins us now along with his mom, Erica, and their Hi. service dog, Paris. <laughs> Thanks for joining us uh, all this morning. So, Erica, no what exactly is the problem that the school has with the dog? I, I thought it was the law that a service dog would be allowed in a school. Um, so it is the law that the dog will be allowed, but unfortunately the ADA law does leave some gray area. Um, it does state that school staff are not required to handle the dog, although it does give them the option to. Um, and for whatever reason, the school district just will not allow any school staff to be the dog handler. Mm. We did reach out to the school, and this is what they said. The Franklin Public School District does not comment on specific student service issues. The district can state that it fully promotes and supports access for all individuals with disabilities, including those that require the assistance of service animals. But, Erica, you say that, that your son actually hasn't been able to go to school for nearly a month because yeah, of, that's of this problem. Tr that's true. Um, so for a couple of weeks, he was out of school because we were actually in Ohio training with his dog, Paris. Um, but he has not returned to school since we've been home. And the reason for that is because she provides a medical seizure alert. So they essentially need to be at, at each other's hips 24-7. Um, I cannot afford to hire a third-party dog handler. Um, and I also can't afford not to go to work myself. So she has been home with him um, sin since we've returned home from training. Oh, boy. So tell us about Paris and what she does for your son exactly. Um, so she's technically a multi-purpose service dog. Her, um, I guess, number one job is the seizure alert. She can smell the chemical change that occurs before a seizure strikes. Um, for some dogs, it's 10 minutes in advance. For other dogs, it's 24 hours. For her, we don't know yet um, because we haven't experienced uh, a very big seizure since we've brought her home. She's been home with us for about two weeks now. Um, so we're kind of in a, a limbo period just waiting for her um, to smell that oncoming seizure. Um, in addition to seizure alert, she also is trained in behavior disruption. Um, Austin has some speech delays, and that causes a lot of frustration. So she's trained to kind of mitigate those frustration behaviors. Um, for instance, if he was to cross his arms and say, I'm mad, she instinctively knows to um, use her command, which is called nuzzle. Yeah. And what she does is she just goes right up underneath his crossed mm -hmm. arms and almost tickles his belly and gets him to laugh. That's, and, pretty, um, that's pretty awesome. And well, it's, it's really awesome. She also has a command called touch, um, where she'll just put her paw on his leg or wherever I point to or right. um, whoever's handling her at that time will point to. And that, again, will help, help kind of stop that tantrum from even happening. Erica, um, we know that, one of, that, that Paris has been able to help Austin so much and therefore help you, too. And uh, we certainly hope uh, there's absolutely. some sort of resolution that can come of this. We're rooting for you. Thank Thanks. You, too. <laughs>